Greetings everyone. Today we are back with another episode of our lovely series, Hi Devil, but it's English edition this time. Today we are filming at TÜBİTAK 2022, uh, conducted by Aktinan High School and its students. And we are currently standing in front of the English department with my English teacher, Derya Tayfun. Would you like to explain? Of course. Hello, I am an English teacher of this school, Derya Tayfun. Uh, I've been teaching English for seven years. Today we are going to present our TÜBİTAK projects. We have two English TÜBİTAK projects here and my students are ready to present uh, their work. First, I would like to show you the first project, uh, which is uh, English Digital Story Writers. And you see the works of our students here. We have some books, some digital books uh, that we just made up. And yes. So did the students write the books themselves? Exactly, yes. Could you show one of the books? Of course, yes. So my students, Kerem, uh, could you show your Book, please. Yes. Hello, guys. This is my book. I created uh, this book using Story Jumper. I designed this page. I worked so hard for uh, pre prepare this book. Uh, that's it. Okay, this is amazing. Kerem, thank you. So, this is the book of Kerem Erhan Tuncer. So, he's the writer of the book. So, this is such an amazing. You see, designs and old story belong to my student. And let me show another student with different book. Thank you, Kerem. Now my another student uh, is going to represent his book. So Semi, it's your turn. This is my book. I designed it. We introduce now. Okay, thank you, Semi. Now you can see some pages from the book. And these designs belong to Ahmed Semi. You see? So it looks great and wonderful. And thank you, Ahmed Semi, for this great work. You really have talented students. You must be proud of them, right? Yeah, I'm really proud of my students. So they really did great work here and they are going to represent our project today. So if you wish, we shall start with the competition. Of course, we may start. So allow me to explain first. Yes, of course. I will be asking you three questions. If you manage to answer them right, we will be giving you a small award. Okay, let's have a look then. Let's start with the first one. Which of the following is not a Scandinavian country? All right. Finland or Sweden? Hmm. Finland or Sweden? Sweden. Correct answer. Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, how is your teaching career going? Uh, it's going well. Today I'm very happy uh, to be in such a great atmosphere. So we are really jubilant and with our students we are managing so many projects here. Uh, and I'm really happy to be a project coordinator and language coordinator of the school. So, uh, yes, today, today we are happy and we are waiting for our guests to represent our work. Do you uh, like teaching new students the language of English? Yes, I really like my job. I love teaching job. So uh, it's rewarding as well as being fruitful. And so it doesn't matter for me to be adults or young learners. So both are fun for me to teach them. So I'm wondering, when did you start learning English and how did you develop such an interest? Uh, first, I learned English uh, in a primary school, just like everyone. And after that, uh, I really had a great interest in English. And uh, when I was in high school, I preferred the language department. And for university, I preferred uh, the language teaching department. So it was such a great journey for me because language broadened my horizon and it really was a great opportunity for me to meet and make new friends and people. And uh, by this way, I really had a chance to travel so many countries so far. So let's just jump into the second question. All right, right, yes. In which of the following countries did the Chernobyl bomb explode? Slovakia or Ukraine? Ukraine, of course, yes. That's the uh, correct answer. It's a very tragic situation. Yeah. yeah, I'm really sorry. Whenever I remember this, you know, uh, disaster, I really feel sorry for that. Yeah, everyone does, of course. Okay. And uh, what about uh, looking at our second project? And after that, you may ask the last question. Yeah, okay? sure. All right. So this is our second project. All right. And as you see, we work with four students here: Berat, Osman, Hassan, and Ayub. And Ayub, would you like to describe your project here, please? Uh, yes. In the project, uh, our aim is improve our English and pronunciation, for example. Uh, this one is mine, Elon Musk. Thank you for everyone. Okay, thank you. Uh, now my student Vera is going to explain his project. project's purpose is improving our speaking skills and with using Web2 tools. Example, this is my project about Donald Trump. Okay, thank you Vera. And Hassan El Gürmüş is Hi. going to represent. Hi everyone, my name is Hassan. When I made this project, I researched different something about the famous life and 
we made our avatars and this was very good for us. Okay, thank you Hassan. All right, now we may continue with the last question. So you answered all the questions, right? You have one more question to go. And yes. if you answer this question right, you'll get the award. Yes, the last one. Are you excited? One. Yes, I'm really excited. So this is my last question. Let's see if I'm going to reply or not. So we have a quote. The quote says, Ottoman's first official sailor is Barbaros Hayatim Pasha. Correct or false? Uh, it is false because the first sailor uh, is Chaka Bey. That's correct, Tisha. We appreciate you. Uh, we have your award here. Oh, thank you so much. Does this is for me, right? Yes. Yes. So let me just check the box. What is inside? Wow. That is great. And I would like to thank you, Himmet teacher, for this great gift. So it's very lovely. Thank you so much, Abdullah. That was a great presentation interview with you. Hope to see you again. Bye for now.